What's up guys, it's Justin Khan back at it again with another video. Today, I wanna tell you how I learned to love myself. For some of you, this might sound obvious, uh, like duh, it's easy to love yourself. But for others of you out there, it might sound difficult. I know for myself, it wasn't always easy. I didn't jump out of the womb saying, boom, Justin Khan, bitch, it's amazing. When I was younger, I always struggled with feeling like I was good enough. I always felt like there was something else out there, someone else I was supposed to be. And so for me, when I finally woke up one day and realized, wow, I love being Justin Khan, and I love who I am and how I show up in the world, that was a giant breakthrough. So the other day, I was at a party and uh, my friend was DJing and I went up to him and a couple of my friends were crowded around the booth and I just said, guys, I love being Justin Cod. I love myself. I love how I show up in the world. I love who I am and I'm excited to get to be me every day. And I don't feel that way just because I've had successful companies or because I'm semi-famous on YouTube among aspiring entrepreneurs who are 22 to 28. Something that's intrinsic for me. Something that's just about who I am and how I show up and what my experience is every day. What really inspired me to make the video is later on one of my friends who was there when I had that realization, came up to me later in the night and she was like, hey, Justin, you inspired me tonight. And I wanna just say that that energy that you showed up with earlier was amazing. And it made me think, hey, I should be excited and happy to be me. And she's someone who is a very successful CEO of a company, a founder of a company, you know, but also just like everybody else struggles with imposter syndrome or feeling like, am I good enough? No matter who you are in the world, how successful, how famous, how good your life seems on the outside, there are battles you're going to be fighting every day. She was like, I, that was a great reminder that I just need to bring that energy of like, I love being me. I told her that's absolutely right. Just think about it. You're a founder of a successful company. You have an amazing husband and partner. Your employees and customers all love you. Life is good for you. The founder of Twitch wants to hang out with you. It's good to be you. So she went home that night with the resolution that every day she was gonna spend more time celebrating herself. And I think that's a practice that everybody should adopt. She said that seeing me happy with who I was in the world earlier that night had inspired her because she knew that I hadn't always felt that way. And and it was really awesome to see someone who had been through the journey and gotten to a place where they're just happy with how they show up and how their life is every day. And that was a good reminder for her to bring that kind of energy into her own life. And then she asked me, when did I first start to feel that way? That was a big revelation for me because I hadn't really ever thought of it before. For me, I've talked about it a lot on this channel. I've gone through this journey over the last five or six years uh, where I went from being very focused on external validation to much more focused on my own intrinsic fulfillment and enjoyment and how I show up in the world. And when I thought about when did I first start to feel like it was awesome to be me, I realized that it all snapped into place for me when I felt like I finally achieved internal alignment. When I was proud of how I was showing up for my friends, my family, and for myself. When I was doing things in integrity, when I was taking care of myself and when I was focused on the things that gave me joy every day, that's when it felt like everything just clicked into place and I was like, wow, life is amazing. This will be a short video, but I guess my takeaways are, number one, if you're out there and you feel like you're not good enough or life is not great or you're not excited to be who you are, well, that can change and it doesn't have anything to do with what is going on in the external world. I had sold Twitch and still felt like things weren't that good every day. Like I wasn't excited to be me. And what changed for me was nothing on the outside world. It was everything about how I felt like I was showing up internally. So if you're out there feeling the same way, you have the power to change your own mindset yourself. And number two, practice the mindset that you wanna have. Mental pathways are like ski tracks on a mountain. You start off with a fresh mind. It's like a fresh powder day. And then you make one track. And then when you go back again, maybe you go the same track and eventually you've made a groove and it's just super easy to go down that same groove over and over and over again. And so when you have a certain attitude, if you feel jealous or bitter about something or you're focused on external validation, every time you have those thoughts, you're making that track. And if you repeat it over and over and over again, that becomes your automatic behavior. But it's possible to make a new track. If you think about, you know, gratitude is a great example. I've been gratitude journaling every day for the last five years. And every day I wake up and I write down three things that I'm grateful for. And it's usually the same type of things. I'm grateful for my family, grateful for my friends, grateful to be able to do the things I love, grateful for 
art, grateful for music, doesn't change that much. Now, I'm just pretty grateful all the time. Having practiced gratitude thousands of times, now when I just walk around, I'm pretty grateful most of the time. And the same is true for feeling good about who you are. The other thing I do every day is write down affirmations. My affirmations are always the same. They don't change. I write down, I love and am loved, I'm calm, and no matter what happens today, I accept it. And having practiced that every day for years and years, when things happen that are tough, I am calm. I do find that I bring love to situations. And whatever happens every day, I generally accept it. So whoever you want to be in the world, you can be that person. All you have to do is practice it, and that's who you'll become. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can love yourself just as much as I love myself, which is a lot. <laughs> Good luck with that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.